I was very happy to be given the opportunity to talk about dribbling the basketball and ball handling because I feel it's the most important aspect of, the, of basketball for younger kids, kids playing in the grammar school and in high school ages. I think by the time you get to the college ranks or the professional ranks, it's very difficult to develop the, your muscles that are necessary to dribble a ball and to, uh, to pass it. You'll find so many professional players even today who are tremendous shooters, but they can never improve their ball handling because when they were young, they never practiced the, some of the little drills I'm going to go over right now. Uh, to begin with, just your stance when you're dribbling the basketball. Important point, your knees bent and your back is straight. Just try to get down as low as you can, but have your knees bent. Try, you'll see many players bend in this fashion, their knees are straight and their back is bent over, which is the wrong way to do it. Try to dribble with your knees as low as you can, keep your back straight and your head up. That's point number one is your position. Number two is you're going to try to keep the ball on your fingertips. Never let the ball touch the palm of your hand or the back of your hand. Try to just let it touch the top of your fingertips. If you handle the ball for a long period of time, you get the feel of it. So keep it on your fingertips as low off to the ground as possible and just slap it to the floor. Try not to push it through the floor. Just a little slap motion is enough. So just your position. Number one, your knees are bent, your back is straight. Two, your ball's on your fingertip control and you're slapping the ball to the floor and you're not pushing it. A good way to, to develop these techniques, these dribbling techniques, is just to go over a few drills. Uh, things like standing in one spot, just dribbling the ball on the floor, maybe just changing hands, putting it between your legs, all things just like this. Try to dribble with each finger if you can. Change around from finger to finger with both hands, even walking, anything like this. You can make up your own drills just so you'll, you'll improve and you don't even need a basket to do this. I haven't taken one shot at a basket. You can practice this every day by yourself and improve. All, all kind of all the drills I'm telling them I'm going to go over right now. Put the ball up between your legs, just in this fashion. Around your back. All, all these little, little kind of drills. A figure eight drill. And you'll see after a while, if you start doing these, you do them a little quicker every day, your, your muscles will hurt. It will be hard to, to shoot after you finish them. Your wrist and your finger muscles will hurt. And that's the key to, to the whole practice idea when, when you're young practicing, because if it does hurt, by the time you get older, these muscles will be developed. There won't be new muscles. It's very similar to if you're going to play any kind of football or basketball game. If you haven't ran for a long time, when you start to run, you're a little stiff. That's because you haven't used the muscles and it's going to hurt. However, if you have practice when you were younger, if you are in shape, then your muscles won't hurt. So it, it's key when you are young, to just try to use these fingertip muscles, these arm muscles, so you'll be a good ball handler. Once again, some of the drills you can go over with. Just try to combine and put them all together. All little drills like this, trying to bounce between your legs. As you see, like I've been doing these drills for years and I still lose the ball. I, if I try to go real fast, sometimes I drop it. And, and that's the idea. You have to keep, keep doing them. You're going to mess up a lot like I'm doing. I'm tired now just from doing them for about a minute. And see that they are very tiring drills, but in the long run, they'll help you be a better ball handler. So just to go over everything we've done, just the dribbling aspect of it, your position, and then certain drills. The, the last thing we can do is just a little idea of passing the basketball, ball handling. If you're going to be a ball handling expert, you have to learn not only how to dribble a ball, but also how to pass it. And the main thing is your two-hand chest pass. You see so many players today, they throw careless passes in the professional ranks, just throwing it out with one hand or throwing it behind their back. And the trouble is they haven't developed the simple passes first. The, the basic two-hand chest pass is, uh, is the best pass, bounce pass. You'll see Oscar Robertson all, all the time, he, maybe, maybe the greatest player who ever played the game, and he just... He never throws a fancy pass, a one-hand pass. You watch him, the game is always a two-hand pass. His wrists are extended, throws the ball out. So that's just an, just an important point I wanted, just wanted to mention. When you're starting to play the game, when you're playing in high school, even when you go up to college, do the simple things, the things that, that come most easiest. Don't try to be fancy until, uh, until you have the simple things down packed. So um, that, that, will, that will conclude really what I want to talk about, about ball handling. Just do, make up your own drills uh, in your own spare time and just work on them by yourself. And, and by the time you reach the high school and college level, you can work on something else.